Which way Nigeria? Which way to go? Which way to go? I love my father. I love my father. I want to know. I want to know. My name is Charles Ajayi Kiran. I am here to represent, uh, um, speak on behalf of Canuck, which is the umbrella body of all Nigerians in the United Kingdom. We are here as a collective today to remonstrate against the senseless killings, bombings, wanton destruction of lives in our homeland, Nigeria. My name is Dr. Chikia Mozalo, President of Hanes and Nibo, United Kingdom and the Northern Ireland. Uh, as we have said earlier, we are here to protest against the on senseless clean of the uh, Nigerian citizens in the north, the Christians, and um, we are calling the federal government of Nigeria to stop Boko Haram and to stop them. Uh, my name is Alex Fila I'm here because I'm concerned about the continued killings of people in Nigeria. This has not just started recently. It's an age-old thing. People can trace the history of killings of Satanists right from 1945, 1953, and even before the Civil War, it happened. So, and the message Satanists are always told is, go back to your country. I don't hate that if we understand that we are not one. Because we cannot continue to keep a place that is not one together. We cannot hide under a broomstick and pretend that there's unity amongst us. We need the African race to develop. If we do not start to develop and contribute to the international com economy, then we will continue to suffer. And many more of our young men and women will leave the country and come into Europe, America, even China, Iceland, and other places. The only, the only solution now is for us to have a round table conference, a sovereign national conference, followed by a referendum. That's my message. Thank you. My name is Augustine Dike. I'm a Nigerian. Terrorism is not one day journey. And therefore, now is the time we have to call a spade a spade. Let we come together and decide the future of this country. We decide where we are going. We decide how we take care of ourselves. Uh, Mr. Valentine Oyabu, and this is how I my son. We have, um, I'm a member of the organizing committee for this rally. We know um, it's because I'm a Nigerian that um, what is happening in Nigeria, we're not happy with it. And um, killing of innocent people is not a way forward. Um, I am of an opinion that peace should prevail in Nigeria. I'm campaigning here because I'm, I believe in unity, where no man believes that they are more superior than the other. Uh, my name is Mr. Onyereka Zubike Chukum, one of the Christian churches in Abuja. I was, I couldn't hold it. I feel so bad. I have witnessed the killings of these Muslim people. 1993 in Kano State, where I grew up, and I know what happened in 1993 during the problem of Christians and Muslims in Kano State. And when I saw that, I think that is exactly what they want to repeat again. Terrorism in Nigeria to stop. We want to be one Nigeria, and if we are not going to be one Nigeria, let it be peaceful. Let they call referendum. My name is Mrs. Margaret Ukera for Echemon. I'm very pleased that uh, Nigerians uh, answered the call, the call of unity, to welcome here and demonstrate our unity, that we all belong to the same country and we all belong to, the, we are all Nigerians. It's unfortunate that the ambassador hasn't been uh, able to, um, to answer the door and listen to us, but I'm sure that he did send something. English people say, if you do the talk, also walk the walk. Because uh, on Facebook you have a lot of Nigerians condemning what is happening in Nigeria, but today, we are all here to demonstrate, to show that we are together and we are against what is happening in Nigeria. We want Nigerian and the diaspora involvement. We must take the lead. 
we have been privileged to live in this country and gain the experience of living in a peaceful society. This is a multicultural society where we don't even belong to, but we are very well accepted and respected. We must try and take that home, and it has to start with rallies like this. Dr. Chuku Negemba, I'm here today to express my solidarity uh, with the Nigerians in the UK, and I'm one of the organizers of the rally. Um, the uh, purpose is to let the world know what is happening in Nigeria and to uh, draw the attention of the international media to the atrocities that is committed uh, by Boko Haram in the name of religion against the Nigerian people. Uh, the fear is if this uh, problem is not handled properly by Nigeria and the security agencies in Nigeria, it may be or rather be the beginning of the end of Nigeria as you know it. So it is up to the government to know what they need to do. They know what to do and if they fail to do it, then they will be held responsible for whatever with that will happen to Nigeria. Thank you. Of security is something that concerns everybody. Nigeria should ensure that there is security for everyone. Those of us in the diaspora, we hold the leadership of Nigeria very responsible on this issue. We want them to ensure that the Boko Haram issue is resolved, resolved as soon as possible. Enough is enough. Enough is enough, and so it is. We are tired of our brothers and sisters being slaughtered like a sacred cow. All Nigerians are supposed to be free whenever they are to contest for election and win and be in that part of Nigeria, just like in any other part of the world. Please, my name is Kenneth Obi. It is what is happening in Nigeria, where a group of people think that that country belongs to them alone, chasing the rest of other ethnic groups away from their area, either because they belong to a certain tribe or because they belong to a certain religion, which is not fair. And that is what we are fighting to stop. And it is the powers that be that should do something. They should not feel comfortable because they are looked after, taken care of, the security is guaranteed, but the ordinary person has nothing, and they are allowed to die like rats. That's what we are protesting against, and they need to do something about it. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. I got to get to, to call all the people that love Nigeria, British government, American government, all the European government, friends of Nigeria. To put pressure on Nigerian government to make sure there is peace and security in Nigeria.